How did life arise on Earth? Did a meteorite carrying living organisms arrive here millions of years ago, or did unique conditions on primitive Earth lead to the formation of the larger molecules, such as RNA or DNA, necessary for life? In the 1950s, biochemists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey set up an experiment to find out whether biological molecules could have formed spontaneously on primitive Earth. They started with a solution of simple chemicals, which they called the oceanic compartment. The solution was heated to produce an artificial atmosphere. The atmosphere contained methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and water vapor, the gases that were thought to make up the Earth's early atmosphere. Miller and Urey used electrical sparks to simulate lightning in the early atmosphere. The sparks triggered the formation of new compounds. The results of this experiment suggest that it is at least feasible that on the early Earth, lightning could have provided the energy necessary to break apart the chemical bonds in the atmospheric gases, facilitating the synthesis of new compounds. After applying the electrical sparks, Miller and Urey condensed the atmospheric gases into artificial rain by passing them through cold water. This rain, which would contain any new compounds present in the atmosphere, washed back into the artificial ocean. Miller and Urey then collected samples of the water produced to test it for the presence of new compounds. Chemical analysis revealed the presence of amino acids, purines, and pyrimidines in the mixture. These molecules form the building blocks of nucleotides and proteins. Without them, life as we know it could not exist. 